The push to legalize medical marijuana here in North Carolina took a significant step forward today, though some opponents worry there are going to be consequences. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. Thanks for being here. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh to explain. Michael. Yeah, supporters of the sick could help thousands of people dealing with serious illnesses, but lawmakers also heard from people today who are concerned about this warning of potential danger. While it remains illegal in North Carolina, people have used marijuana to treat their pain. George Papistrat is a Marine Corps veteran who suffered a spinal injury in 2016. He had access to marijuana legally when he lived in New York and says it's a better choice than opioids. It is almost kind of disheartening that I live in a military community and that there's so many people that fight the veteran community in itself against this concept. Patted me on the knee and said it's okay to die. Republican Senator Bill Rabin, who survived cancer when his doctor didn't think he would, says he turned to marijuana while going through chemotherapy. Three months in to the treatment, <clears throat> I get no. A little involved, and I can taste the chemotherapy as I stand here and talk. He shared a story Tuesday as he tried to convince lawmakers in the House to pass a bill legalizing medical marijuana. It's the first time the House has publicly debated the issue since the Senate passed the bill earlier this year. Corrine Lamarca came here from Ohio to urge them to vote no. Her daughter Jennifer died in a car crash when she got hit by a driver who had obtained marijuana legally in a neighboring state. I've seen the unintended consequences of any type of marijuana legalization within the state, and it really does concern me. David Evans pointed to the lack of scientific evidence. We do not decide medicine in the United States by anecdote or by stories. That's the only reason I'm alive today. And there's no science behind it, but I can tell you, I know. I know. While the House Health Committee discussed this today, they did not take a vote, and it's not clear when that could happen. Senator Rabin says he wants to talk more to lawmakers in the House and that there could be further changes to this before there is a vote. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.